Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to some more Call of the Wild. I had a suggestion on my most recent video asking me to go out and put these animal scent sprays to the test. I'm not too sure if I've done this in the past. I honestly don't think I have done it. We're gonna shoot that, that brown bear really quick because that was a pretty decent looking level seven. Like I was saying, I don't think I've ever tested them out before in a video. I might have, and I'm, I don't know. It was probably a really long time ago if I did. But today, right here, we have the moose spray. We are on Medved Tiger, as you can probably tell. We have the moose scent. We also have the mustier scent. We might mess around with that if we don't really get any outcome of the moose. Uh, but the moose, let's read the description of it here. That way we all kind of have, a, have an understanding of what this stuff is. So this is like an animal scent lure. Moose scent, irresistible scent that can be used to attract both moose bulls and cows. Since scents last longer than calls, this is a great choice when lure hunting. The effective range depends on current wind conditions, the high wind speeds leading to a narrow and long scent cone, while low wind speeds create a wide and short cone the range is 200 meters and it lasts 300 seconds and the attraction strength is 50 but we also do have the normal moose collar the attraction the attraction strength on this is 40 and the duration is 90 so technically the scent is better statistically speaking but we're gonna put it to the test today to see if it's actually worth even using because i've never really used it i always thought it was kind of a joke to never you know who cares like why would you waste your money on that stuff but let's uh go me let's go be mythbusters i'm gonna go find this bear really quick and then we'll get to it actually you know what i have a dog let's have him track him duh what am i doing all right here we go here's our bear let's check him out really quick a nice double long shot with the 338 i just wanted to get this guy to the way because he's a pretty decent level seven all right let's go find ourselves a moose and see if this scent spray will work all right, so a slight change of plans. I didn't really see a moose over here, but I keep having the same male mustier calling over here. And the wind is actually kind of going in his direction, which I guess is what you, what you want when you're using the scent spray. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to our inventory. We actually could hit F2. I need to keep remembering that because someone actually told me that in the comment section. We're going to change up the moose for the mustier scent. And hello, Mrs. Reindeer. And let's have this guy lay down. That way he's not making a bunch of noise. And... Let's spray some stuff. We got some mustier scent. And let's see if this mustier comes in without, you know, calling or whatever. I don't actually think there is a mustier call, so don't mind me being dumb. Hey, look. Hey, look. Guys, it kind of worked. He's coming in hot. No way. That actually kind of worked. I'm pretty sure he came into the scent right there. Yeah, look. He's coming straight to us. Wow. They actually work. Come on, buddy. Now turn broadside for us so we can put you down. Okay, so we have our first results here for testing out the scent spray. He came straight to us. We sprayed about two times over there, or two or three times, I can't remember. Sat in the bush, and not maybe two minutes later, he came to us. So that's awesome. I think the trick is with this stuff, the only downside of this stuff is that it kind of only works if you have a good wind. We're going to put it to the test again, and I want to be like downwind. That way, like, the scent won't be blowing towards the animal, and I want to see if it will still attract them. I'm pretty sure the main reason that everybody doesn't use this stuff and only uses the collars because they're technically better is because, you know, with the collars, it doesn't really matter the wind direction. With this stuff, you want to be sitting with the wind blowing towards the animal. That way, when you spray that scent, it'll be blowing towards the animal, and they will, you know, obviously get attracted to it. So that's basically what I'm kind of gathering from it. I don't know. We're going to do more research let's go do a couple more test runs here with it that way we can get a little bit better idea of how it works all right test number two we have a moose over here about 200 meters away now we need to swap to the uh moose scent let's give him a little little spray here and see if he's coming towards us i think he's already traveling somewhere so let's see if this will kind of like slow him down and cause him to change direction and come over to us he kind of stopped there so i think he is catching on to something let's give it a second here and see if he starts heading over here the only thing about this is the wind really isn't blowing in his direction so that's kind of, that's not a bad thing this will tell okay he's he's now drinking all right and it's quite obvious with a with him facing our southwest here basically west and the wind blowing pretty much directly south you can tell that he doesn't care about the scent spray and we sprayed it like three or four times now uh, let's pull out the moose collar and let's just see how let's just see how he really will react to that boom Look, he's already kind of attracted to it. He's like, oh, what was that? I heard that. That's the good thing about the collars is that you don't have to worry about a wind direction. 
Drop him right there. Should be a nice clean heart shot. Just a little guy, but a perfect clean heart shot. Nice, satisfying. Okay, let's go do another test using the scent spray. I wanna see if we can attract another animal in with it. We have two bull moose right here in front of us. A perfect win blowing straight in their direction. Let's go ahead and pull out the moose spray. Give it a little spray there. Let's have our boy lay down. And let's just give it a second. Maybe they'll catch on to something. Says these guys are about 137 meters out and the effective range for this stuff is um, 200 meters. So we're within range and they still haven't started moving my way. Let's get a little bit closer and we'll spray it again. Okay, they're doing something now. It seems as if, yeah, this guy's traveling. He's got a mating call. Yeah, they definitely smell that 100%. So pretty much once you spray it and you notice them, uh, you know, catch on to it and start moving your way, Pretty much all you do now is just sit back and wait. I think we'll let this guy get out from behind that bush and we should be able to take a shot on him. Here he comes. Hey buddy, go ahead and stop for me. Please, good sir. Wow, we missed the heart. Are you kidding me? So there's another example that the scent sprays do work as long as you have a good win. And hey, we have a cat. Ooh, let's actually kill that really quick. We missed. Got him with that one laid him out <laughs> yep we missed him oh we were a little bit too high but we did cut catch, catch the double lung so i will still count that as a perfect shot i think we made a nice shot on this cat too yeah beautiful double lung there with 243 all right so my plan is to go do one more test i want to have a bad wind i want to be like this i want the wind blowing in my face i'm gonna throw on some scent and i'm gonna see if they get attracted to it this is the last test subject right here <laughs> another level three moose the wind is blowing in our face which is which is actually a good thing for us technically but when it comes to using the sense and trying to lure animals in using the sense it's not good because you want that wind facing them that way it'll blow that scent in their direction i just sprayed maybe two or three moose scents on me and he doesn't care he's just sitting there drinking away I'm gonna try and creep up a little bit closer. We'll try and spray on the scent maybe one or two more times just to see if he will come to it. And I don't think he will. And we missed that hard again. Jeez, we suck. <laughs> All right, to answer the question, do scent sprays actually work in Call of the Wild? The answer is yes, they do work, but honestly, you're better off with just carrying a collar. With the scent sprays, you do have to be weary about the wind direction. When it comes to the collars, it doesn't really matter. You can just, you know, call those things and use them whenever you want, no matter the wind direction, whether it's in your face, blowing towards the animal, whatever. You're good with the collars. The scent sprays are nice for animals like the must deer because I'm pretty sure they actually don't have a collar that you can use on them. So the scent spray is basically your only option when it comes to luring in that kind of animal. So yes, they do work, but honestly, just keep the collars in your inventory. Don't worry about pulling out the scent sprays. Don't waste your money on them. They are really cool and all, but you're just better off with using a collar. Yeah, we shot a tad bit to the left there on the heart and we hit him in the right lung. Still brought him down though. So another little level three moose. Pretty sure that's like the only thing we killed today was level three moose, but hey, we got the answer to our question. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding on how the scent sprays work in Call of the Wild now, because I know I definitely do. I'm really glad I did this. It was actually a lot of fun testing this out. If you guys want to see anything else, be sure to let me know in the comment section any video ideas. I really appreciate when you guys do help me out with things like that because that's one of the hardest parts about YouTube is thinking of video ideas. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on those notifications. That way you know when my videos go live. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.